Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Y'all are not going to believe this. Came down to my sister's. So I'm in Sugarland, Texas. I'm about an hour or so um, south of my house. Um, she lives on the south side of Houston. I live on the north side of Houston. So I came down to house sit, babysit, babysit, dog sit, house sit, dog sit while they're out of town. And I was like, well, I'm, I know they have a bins down here, but my intention was to try some of their like church thrift stores around here because I've been to the bins before. So I was like, I don't need a bunch of stuff. I just want to try to, uh, be, pick what I want. I don't want to just get stuff just cause it's there. I, I want to be, um, specific on the items I'm getting and I don't have any self control at the bin. So I took $20. I said, I was only going to spend $20. I thought that would get me, um, you know, four or five items because most of the time the items are about three, four dollars. And then I had, you know, some change. And I was like, I'm not taking my bank card. Um, I'm just taking a twenty dollar bill. So let me start with the first place. First place. I already gave it away. Ernie. Let me start with the first part. I need to take this off on purpose. Okay, so this was um Tri Cities Women's Tri City Women's something like that. Um little church um what is that called? I don't know. The resale thrift store. So anyways, I did all my shopping and then when I got up there there's like this little table where uh, your first item on that table, if I've ever done on it, free. Second item is a quarter. So every time I get flowers, I literally do not have anything to put it in except for like a pitcher, a mug, a glass, a jar, like nothing pretty. So I found this. Um, it says Jordan or something like that. Jordan. Jordan. So I just thought it was pretty, and so it came from Crow Flowers. So this was my free item, or whichever, free or 25 cents, whatever. And then this was my my other one, and I figured I'd save this for next month and have Elijah give it to his mom for her birthday. So these two together were 25 cents. So, sorry, Journey. Um, I haven't gone through I literally just got home and sat down because I was so excited I was like I gotta show everybody so these I thought these were like a generic shoe I thought they were just like something fake but my fingernail broke and every time I put my hand through my hair sorry 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 too much information right now so then I was like well what is this W I don't know what I still don't know what the W is for but I don't, I don't know what it is. Mountain, I don't know. But so when you look in here, it's Nike. It's like, um, it's got all the Nike information. So these were made in da, 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 2000, December 2020. And they're a size 13. So uh, I can clean them up. And I know I say I don't clean things up, but I can clean them up. I can see what they're worth. I haven't even looked at the cons, but I figured, you see that? They're pretty neat. So I figured if they don't sell for nothing, I'll just save them for Elijah because Elijah's like in 11 right now. So those are those. And they were, so they were $6 and every all the clothing, shoes, and everything was half off today. So. Let me show you these because I've been doing really good with ties. I've sold like four ties and I've probably netted those four ties uh, over $100. One of them sold for $45 and then another one sold for, I think it was like 22 or something like that. And then I had two others that were, maybe I didn't net over 100, but real close to 100. So anyways, this caught my eye. It's just the snowman and Santa Claus. Um, it doesn't have a brand that doesn't look like, but I saw the 
a Peanuts Christmas one earlier in the year for, I think I sold it for like $18, $15 something. So this was a dollar. And then this right here, I thought this was pretty cool. It actually helping children and their families around the world. And it says save the children. So I'm not really sure, but Dana, age 12. See that? Dana, um, I guess, designed this. It's probably like those cards. Do you see those cards in the grocery store? Like they sell them and say, buy these and it helps the children or whatever. So I thought this was pretty cool. Maybe like a school teacher or principal or counselor or somebody. So that was a dollar also. This one was kind of ugly and I wasn't, I, I had passed it up. But then when I was coming back, I saw this tag and it's Irving Magic Johnson signature line. So, I don't know. We'll see. It's kind of, it's kind of 70-ish, right? 70-ish? 70? Anyways, so all the ties were a dollar after. And then this one was right there. Buy it. And this is one of the, oh, why is it like that? Why'd she tie it? I'm going to have to steam it. Anyways, this is Donald Trump signature collection, and it's got a little, this is what caught my eye right here. I saw that. I was like, there's got to be something. I believe it was Lori Tata who, who um, said, if you find, look how wrinkly it is now. I hope that works. Is it silk? Uh, doesn't say what it's made out of. But I think I'm going to have to steam it. But I thought that was pretty cool. It's got the little place. But Donald Trump, there's Donald Trump lovers in the world. So I'm not opposed to making some money off of him. Okay. So I'm in four. I'm in seven dollars right now. Then, oh, I got a bag, like I need a bag. The, I mean, this is what they put the clothes in. Instead of doing you like the plastic ones, which I think that's cool. I can leave this in my, my truck. Okay, so, this is cut from the cloth. I've found one pair, and uh, once again, Lori, Lori's Boston Found, she taught me basically everything I know about reselling. And my journey. So these were four dollars originally, so that means I paid two dollars for them. Cut from the cloth. I never heard of it until Lori was talking about it. These are size ten, so they're a good size. They got the um, coloring there, and they're not skinny leg. So two dollars should get me uh, thirty. I think the other ones I sold, I, I sold in a bundle, I believe, and I think they sold for like 24. So hopefully those will, will get me 30. And these I never heard of before, but I looked them up because the name was interesting. Long, Tall Sally. And they're um, a US size 12. These were $5. So they, um, or two fifty. Um, but anyway, so I looked them up, and they're for tall people. They're like a thirty-six inch inch inseam, and they're skinny. But anyways, I looked up the comps, and I believe they're selling anywhere twenty-five to forty, depending on the style. Now, since they're skinny, they may not go because skinny's kind of like slowing down. Do you see that? I need a long inseam because I'm tall, but I don't need no 30. What does this say it was? I think it's saying, I think it says it's a 38 or 36 inseam. I don't even think my son wears a 36 inseam and he's six foot three. So this is, I mean, there's tall ladies, so. My, my for niece and nephew. 
are barking at all over the wind. And then these, I never heard of either, but I got them because I thought if they don't have good comps, my phone was dying and I was like, I was going to save it. But if they don't have good comps, I might try to wear them. They're my size, they're a 20. Oh, wait, these aren't a 20. These are 2XL. Oh, I thought that said 20 right there. So they're called, oh, say trois. Oh, yeah, on the, on the button here. Can you see that? Say trois. And then here is the logo. So I've never heard of them. I don't know what they, they're 99 cotton and 1% uh, spandex and there is an RN number so but I really liked this I don't like Claire Lakes that that's kind of that's not really me but I figured maybe with some boots or something and then they've got a little bit of blingy bling bling but I think these will go good I mean even if I sell them for $20 I paid I paid they were five so I paid two fifty. So, what was that? Two, five, seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four. So I paid fourteen bucks at that store. Fourteen dollars. I was like, okay, I still got six dollars. And they were closing at four, and I shut them down. I was like, yes, ma'am. So this store I had been to before when I came to house that for her one time before. And I found a vintage Pelly Pelly, Pelly Pelly shirt, men's Pelly Pelly shirt when I very first started reselling. And I listed it when I was here, took pictures and listed it while I was here. And it sold that next morning while I was still here. So when I got home, I packaged it up um, and I mailed it out and they never got it. After like three weeks, um, Poshmark refunded their money and gave me mine. Um, it started tracking. Sorry guys, I'm really hot. So it started tracking, but then it just stopped somewhere. I think in Houston it stopped, so I'm not sure. And then these, um, these are Rockies. <laughs> Y'all remember Rockies? So I looked them up because somebody else, I think it was Nicole State. Was it Nicole? Um, Gosh, if not, I'm sorry, I can't remember. I want to give credit to who it was. I have a little Bolo notebook at home, and it I write down who talked about it, but I'm not there. So I'm not sure who, who, I'm not sure. But anyways, so they were talking about Rockies and how vintage Rockies, well, I don't even know do they make Rockies anymore, but this is a plus size. This is A 20 long. So, and this store was um, maybe like two, three miles from this other store. And this store is called Pennywise. And they have, I think she said they have three other stores in Fort Bend County, which is Sugarland, Richmond, Rosenberg area, and parts of Katy. So, these are 20 long. And then just, you know. Rockies don't have back pockets. So these, um, how much were the jeans here? I think the jeans here were four. I think the jeans were $4. Yeah, the jeans were four. Cause I was like, okay, I need to stop looking cause with tag. But then I saw a dollar rack, everything on this rack. And there was like, it was a large rack. Um, everything on it was a dollar. So I was like, oh, I know I have some change in my change holder. And I know I have, um, I think, a dollar bill in the little side thing. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and look and see. So a chaser, I found my first chaser um, like a month ago. It was just like a t-shirt. I can flip that. Um, it was just like a t-shirt, but oh no, is that a stain? I even took this to the window 
to look and see if there was a stain. Maybe that's not a stain. Maybe grandmas can get it out. Do you guys see that or is it just me? Am I losing my mind? But anyways, it was a dollar. If hey, if it doesn't get it out, it's a 2x and I can wear it um myself. It's kind of lightweight. It's not super heavy. It has the little button sleeve. It does have, I think, two pulls. This one right here on the sleeve, which I think I can fix that one because it's really not that big. And then um, I thought there was another one. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, right here. So this one, it looks like it's not even a pull. It looks like it just the string needs to just be clipped. Does that make sense? Is that a, or is a pull and a string being clipped the same thing? <laughs> Who knows? Anyways, I am so super excited, you guys. I just don't even know what to do. So I was like, well, since I'm at the dollar spot, so that made $5. And I was like, okay, $5 with tax, I, I will be able to get it. But then I saw these three things. Um, this, I know for sure, Nicole State is always talking about. The um, sleep sacks. This is like muslin. Was it like that muslin? Um, it says halo sleep. What is that material like? It's like a linen. It's like that muslin blanket, you know. Um, so it's super lightweight. And then right here, I don't know if you can see. Can you read it? It says back is best. So I guess we're back on the back. Because when Josh was born, it was sleep on the back. And then when Corey was born, it was sleep on the stomach. And then when Elijah, I mean, I always call QJ Elijah. When QJ was born, they had them sleeping on their sides. There was even like these little triangle things that you put on each side of them so they would sleep on their sides. So I guess their back to back is best, or who knows when this was even made. This is small birth to six months. It was born, it was made in... April of 2016. It's 100% cotton. Hmm. It doesn't feel. Anyway, so it zips from the bottom so you could change them. Anyways, this was a dollar. And everybody I know right now that is pregnant is having girls. So this might just go in my, my bundle for, um, what's it called? Once Upon a Child. And then this was just super cute. I don't even know. It's Talbot's Kids. I, I never even knew that Talbot's had a kids line. Um, this is a size three months. I don't know. Um, and it's a cotton nylon blend. But look at it. That's so cute. Look at him. It's a little train. And is that Paddington Bear? I think that's Paddington Bear. But it's so cute. It feels like it's corduroy. And it buttons down here. Oliver Journey. So anyways, all of my boy babies are too big for this. So this will probably go to kids here too. Unless my daughter-in-law or my niece would be interested in it. Because her babies are due. So by the time this one is old, it might be cool enough. And then this is one that I got for my hairdresser's daughter, Abercrombie, the children's large, um, just from waiting. There is a spot right there. Wait, but this looks like if I scratched it, it would probably come off. So somebody in the store, somebody's kid probably touched it. Anyways, so I was at four, five, six, seven, eight. I did go out to the car at that point and I think I found a five. I found a five. And I was like, can I leave my car right here? So I did. So why did I drive past a Goodwill? I don't know. Why did I drive past a, a Goodwill? And I said, eh, let me just look and see. Because my Goodwills, they're all right. Like, they're not, I don't ever really find. Well, I did find a Tory, well, Tamara found a Tory Burch sweater. I think I sold it for, like, $36. Um, but I don't really find anything. I found some Eileen Fishers. I did find two Eileen Fishers one time. 
but I don't really find anything different. So let me just show you the very first thing that I walk in and it's on the, the rack, like as soon as you walk in on the top, like where your shoes are. So I saw, you know how I am about vans. Like I just, I don't know. Like they just attract to me. I find them all the time everywhere. So I saw one and I was like, this is a joke, right? Because why are these still here, right? As soon as you walk in, everybody sees them and they look brand new. And they're the suede up here. They're not the, the they're not the canvas or the regular. So this is suede. They, they're my daughter's daughter size. So I put them in the basket and I was like, well, Tamara might get those. So these were $4.99. Then I'm going to kind of show you. So then right at the end of this rack, I found a couple other, no, okay. I found a couple other shoes like the Se Seychelles, Seychelles from, what is that, Anthropology. Um, I had them in my cart. There were some green, like pea green wedges. The green part was kind of like a satiny, and then it was a wedge. And um, I'm pretty sure it was Lori again who had got some Seych Seychelles, Seychelles, Seychelles. And um, so I, I was familiar with the name. I knew only because of her. I had never heard of them before. So I stopped them. I looked them up. And these were, like, in really good shape. This, the satin part was, like, perfect color. No discoloration. The bottom, I, it looked like maybe they had been worn a couple times. But you couldn't even see footprints in the um, foot part. And it was, like, a tan color. So you would think if an iron one Texas is going to sweat when you. Anyway, they looked like they were in good shape. And I looked them up and the comps looked like I could sell them for probably close to $25, $30. But those were $8.99. And I was like, I put them in my cart. I was like, well, we'll see. And then there was some Skecher Tone Up. And I put them in my cart. Those are size 9. And I was like, well, I don't sell them. They don't look good. I'm going to keep them for myself. But I have a pair of Fit Flops that I did that with. I was like, well, I'll put them on mine or I'll wear them. And I wore them. And now they're on my shelf. I wore them three or four times, and I never listed them. They're just sitting in my shoe racks. So anyway, so I had those two shoes in my cart. Um, Oliver. And then I got to the end of the rack, like where people put stuff back, like meh. So these two, both, uh, like a dark gray, like a heathered gray, and then like a blue heathered. Both Carhartts with a pocket, size small, loose fit. Um, Long sleeve. Long sleeves were um, long sleeves are four ninety nine. But yeah, I have to tell you how I paid for all of this because remember I only took twenty dollars. I'll tell you that at the end. So the color today was red, and of course nothing I found was red. But so I believe these are three ninety nine or four ninety nine, and my receipt is in my truck. I think these are $4.99. Yeah, because I was like, how are these the same price practically as jeans? So jeans were $5.99. Or these are $3.99 and jeans are $4. Whatever. Sorry. But each one of these, I can lot these together because they're the same size and probably sell the both of them for $25, $30. Or sell them separate and make and sell them both I mean sell each one individually for 15 so I might lock them up okay so I'm not going to go in order I'm just going to show you what I got now at this point what's the same thing in going in order so actually these were the new things I found really weird but another pair of Rockies I haven't seen Rockies in forever and then I find them at at uh, Pennywise and then here. So these are Rockies. These are a size 10 regular. Um, so the other ones were plus size. These are a size 10. Oh, and those Rockies, the plus size Rockies were going for like $45, $50, the comps. And then the size 10, I think the 10s were a little bit less, but still, 
I think they were closer to thirty dollars, maybe thirty-five. And I paid. I'm pretty sure the jeans were five dollars because the long sleeve shirts were three ninety nine, so four. And I was like, why are long sleeve t-shirts four dollars and jeans are just one dollar more? Not that I wanted them to be more, but I would thought the long sleeve shirts would be two ninety nine maybe. I don't know. But Carhartt's worth it. Let me get my money back. These are Peloton, and I've heard a lot about Peloton. This lady I used to watch on YouTube, um, Confident Notions, Confident Notions, I think. She's not. She used to do all like um, Dollar Tree hauls and um, like thrift store hauls, stuff like that. And I think it's probably her that the reason why I found Lori and McThrifty and Courtney. Anyways, so she was talking one time about how she had bought some leggings and Peloton wear. Sorry. And how expensive it is. So this is Beyond Yoga. Beyond Yoga is, you know, a good brand as well. And Peloton. They have it as a size medium. I don't know how they sized it because uh, the little tag right here is cut out. And then this To me, it looks like it's a K. <laughs> it looks like it's a K right there. I don't know. Maybe, I mean, it looks like it's probably, but if you could feel this, it's so stinking soft. They're, they're really nice. And it's like a, they're kind of coming out gray, but they're like a, a very slight pinkish purple. And I really don't even know how much I paid for these. Because I was going to ask when I got the register and I got sidetracked on some Nikes that they had up there. Oh my God, they would have fit my any. They would have fit my boys and my husband. They were some amazing, pretty, pretty Nikes, multicolored. They had the turquoise and the aqua and the pink and the yellow and lime green. But my boys wouldn't wear it. If it were my size, I'd have bought them. They were brand. They looked like they were brand new, but they were priced at seventy dollars. So I just liked this. I really like this say golden i'm not really sure um where this i mean this is a next level so it's just next level apparel they make graphic tees but i'm not really sure i know stay golden pony boy but i don't get the the cactus and maiden out mickey mouse i mean if it was cactus i would think it would be arizona not so much california and then Mickey Mouse is California or Florida. So if anybody knows what Stay Golden and, and where the connection is, how does this connect? How does this make sense? Make it make sense. T-shirts were $2.99. Hi, guys. How's it going? 